Good evening. We want to welcome everybody to the Mitchell Boulevard area water and sewer improvement community design meeting. If you already have questions and you can see the screen, you can go down to the chat in the bottom right hand corner and type in your questions. Once we are done with the presentation, we will field those chat questions first. If you do not want to put your question in chat, we will also take the call in users once the presentation is over. And we want to welcome anyone from the two neighborhood associations to the meeting. We will have this um, PowerPoint in PDF form on the project page. So if you've missed the meeting, you can go to the project page. And I'm going to hand this over to Pratima Pujal. She is your project manager. Pratima. Thank you, Sally. This is the agenda for today's meeting. I'm going to provide introduction of the project team. I'll provide you a project overview, a project area. We'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions, and we'll talk about the project timeline. My name is Pratima Paudial, and I'm the project manager for this project. My phone number is 817-392-6149. And email is pratima.paudial at phototexas.gov. Baird Hampton and Brown INC is the engineer, um, a design engineer uh, firm for this project. And Austin Baird is with us um, uh, today. Um, why are we doing this project? Uh, City of Fort Worth prioritizes replacing a water and sewer lines that have high risk of failure. Risk of failure is determined based on various available data, such as water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection data, if it is a sewer line, uh, age of the line, line material, uh, if the line has the lead services, or if the line is a cast iron line. These high um, uh, risk of failure lines were selected because um, on this project, uh, just because uh, these, they have the high risk, uh, existing water main will be replaced on five streets and uh, existing sewer main will be replaced on one street and in two easements. This project is an area bound by uh, Canberra Court and Cobb Park to the west, U.S. Highway 287, um, Martin Luther King Jr. Freeway Service Road to the north, Binkley Street and U.S. Highway 287 um, to the east, and uh, Eastbury Street to the south. This project is in Council District 8. The construction will impact the new Mitchell Boulevard Neighborhood Association and United Communities Neighborhood Association. The project area includes restaurants, businesses, churches, and homes. Now, the black lines you can see over here are the streets and the easements that, where we are going to replace the water and sewer mains. The first one is on Mitchell Boulevard. We are going to replace the water, two water mains, 24 inch and 8 inch water mains on the Mitchell Boulevard from Berry Street to the Bidaker Avenue. On the Richard Legacy Lane, we are going to replace water main as well, and the limit of replacement is from Canberra Court to the Mitchell Boulevard. On the East Berry Street, we are going to replace the water main as well. And the limits of replacement is from Mitchell Boulevard uh, to the Binkley Street. On the Binkley Street, we are going to replace the water main as well. And the limit of replacement is from Berry Street to the um, Highway 287 service road. And we are going to replace the water main on the Highway 287 service road as well. This one over here. And the limit of replacement is from Binkley Street to the West, West Hill Road. We are going to replace three segments of the sewer lines in this project. The first one is in easement um, um, between Tannis Avenue and Strong Avenue, this one over here. And the limits of replacement is from Thrall Street to about 375 feet west. The second one is another, this one, easement between Bruton Avenue and Tannis Avenue. Uh, the limits of replacement is from Thrall Street um, to about 330 feet west. And the third segment is over here on the Thrall Street 
uh, and the limits of replacement is from this easement over here to the 287 service road. Now we'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions. Uh, the first one is, will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing water line to the temporary water line, and when the service is transferred back from the temporary water line to the newly constructed lines. The switchovers are done during the daytime. The contractor will knock on the door and let the customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes about 30 minutes per house or business. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from being stringent in the ground above in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. The bill for your water uses while you are on the temporary line is based on an average of previous month's uses. Will you need access to our property? Construction will be in the streets and easements. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you beforehand. If an easement is needed on your property, a city land agent will be contacting you soon. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service uh, will not be disrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if there is a backup or blockage. The sewer line from the cleanout to the house is owner's responsibility to maintain. Will I have access to my driveway? Uh, and city inspector will be assigned to the project when we are ready to start the construction. The inspector and the contractor will work with residents who need driveway access during active construction hours. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is close to your scheduled trash collection day, um, the contractor will take your trash and recycling cart to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Will there be lane closure during construction? Yes, there will be lane closure during construction. Uh, there will be a lane closure sign posted uh, to alert the motorist. What are the construction hours? The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. And if requested by the contractors, sometimes we allow them to work on Saturdays too. And the hours for Saturdays are 9 a.m. to 4, 4 or 5 p.m. Um, this project is still in design phase. We expect to finalize the design, advertise for a bid, and select a contractor before spring of 2023. We'll host another community meeting just like this um, uh, after we have a contractor on board. Where can I get more information? You can go to the webpage www.fototexas.gov and type in the project number 103467 in the search bar on the home page, Mitchell Avenue area water and sewer improvements will pop up. To get project page updates, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on subscribe to this page. The link to the project summary, frequently asked questions will be linked to the same project page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergencies? If you have any emergencies or not emergencies, you can call the number 817-392. 4477 and select option one for the emergency service, which is a 24 hour service. You can call the same number for the non emergency services as well. You can also download the app, my FW app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leak, water violation, no water service, water pressure issues, or any other water sewer related concerns through the app as well. Again, my name is Pratima Paudel and my phone number is 817-392-6149 and email is pratima.paudel at phototexas.gov. Baird Hampton and Brown is the design engineering consultant for this project and Austin Baird is the project manager from the 
PHP. Um, With that, this presentation is complete. If you have any questions, please go ahead. Thank you, Patrima. Uh, Liam, do you have a question? I'm sorry, Leon, do you have a question? No, I do not have any questions. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, we talked about this before we started. The, um, there's going to be a PDF of this PowerPoint that will be added to the project page. Can you go back to that slide? There you go. Um, that'll be on the project page. We also do um, written summary FAQs in both English and Spanish, and that will also be added to the project page. Uh, Pratima, can you give us an idea of when we might uh, do a construction meeting? So um, there is a text that um, 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 we need a text that permit for this project. Uh, so um, that is what we are trying to coordinate with Texas. I'm sorry, text that. Uh, so as I said, we are trying to gonna advertise it before spring of 2023. So if we do that sometime in spring, we'll have a construction meeting again. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Leon, and uh, we'll come back to you when we get to the construction phase. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.